Our sponsor for today's video is Cookly.me. Cookly is a platform that delivers culinary experiences and quality cooking classes. It's a new and exciting way to enjoy food while traveling. Choose from hundreds of cooking classes and food tours. Learn the secrets of traditional recipes from local chefs and embark yourself in a culinary adventure with friends and family. Cookly is present in 130 cities and 25 countries, including top destinations like Mexico City, Bangkok, Rome, and many more. Remember, when planning your next trip, visit Cookly.me. Check the link in the description below. Yeah, join the community. Join. Join cookly.me. Hello, guys. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of the Five Mexican Guys. So, as always, Moises, Horacio, Alonso, and Chris. But, and today is a very special episode because today we really are five Mexican guys. Hello. Yes. <laughs> this is my brother, <laughs> Agustin. I'm the it's big brother of Alonso. <laughs> He's For taking us on a seafood. Tour. So I was saying you love Mexican seafood, right? Yeah, I love Mexican seafood. I always see your your um, your videos, and I see that, and I saw that you don't have like a, a seafood. A seafood. Yeah. So this is the seafood special, okay. hosted yeah. by me. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Let's, go Let's see it. if you have what it takes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Something that's super weird about this place as well is that it's they like took over half of a building and uh, kind of a vecindad, like a place where uh, middle income people here in Mexico gather to live and they like share common spaces, but they also have their individual apartments, right? And you can see like there's there's still rooms in which people used to live and the kitchen is like a dining room and <laughs> you're you can be eating in someone else's room that he used to live there a, a lot of years ago so it's three stories of food i, I think maybe there's two or three kitchens uh, apparently it's crazy and i don't know how they managed to do this but Congratulations to them. So uh, look at that. Our food. That's alright. The portions in this place are huge. Look at the amount of food they put on every plate. And yeah, I'm gonna explain a little bit of everything we ordered. First, we have some ostiones, which are oysters, and they are prepared in a style which is called rasurados, which means they have um, some uh, sauces like. Uh, Worcester sauce, uh, it uh, comes with onions, uh, cilantro, avocado, a lot of spices and things. It's not like normal oyster. Then we have taco gobernador, which is shrimp and octopus with some mushrooms, I think some cilantro as well, uh, a little bit of, uh, well, a ton of cheese. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a huge taco. This is a taco that is very popular in the northern part of the, um, of the country. Next we have some fillet of fish and this is al mojo de ajo which means it has uh, chile guajillo and garlic, garlic with some rice and some veggies. And lastly we have alambre de camarones which is I don't know if you remember but we made a video in which we ate an alambre a couple of months ago and an alambre is a mixture of peppers, onions, sometimes bacon, sometimes mushrooms and cheese. Okay guys I'm not smart you this activity is a little bit dangerous because we're gonna show you how to eat like because the only way to eat ostiones here in Mexico. You got to find a point where you can like slurp it, slurp it. Okay. Mm. 
No, there is nothing left there. <laughs> there is nothing left. It's like a vacuum. Okay. Like a vacuum and cleaner. Clean. <laughs> so was the oysters are fresh, yeah. the lime is fresh, the salt is good. Giant oyster, yeah. It's a really good oyster. Super fresh, but I think we agree that we like that our oysters a little bit more plain. So a uh, uh, pure oyster flavor is better for yeah. you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, maybe with a little bit uh, of salsa and a little bit of lime. But yeah, yeah like this is kind of like a salad with oysters and juice. <laughs> no, three shells out of five. Yeah, <laughs> three shells. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try the taco gobernador. It's like the governor's taco. Um, as Alonso said, it's, it has shrimp, it has, um, it has pulpo, um, octopus, uh, some shrooms, and some chile guajillo, I think it's there. Peas on top of it. I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce, habanero sauce. Some cilantro. And some onion. All right. Look at the size of this tortilla. It's amazing. Okay, let me take a, a close look at that. <laughs> it's like the size of my cheek. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna bite this, but... It's a big bite. <laughs> it's delicious. Amazing taco. Okay. You can feel, even though there's a ton of things in the taco, you can taste everything. You can taste, you can taste the mushrooms, the shrimp, the octopus, uh, and also at the end you get all the grease of the cheese. So it's an amazing com combination. It's not the gobernador taco of the, the traditional gobernador taco, as Alonso said, but it's amazing. I, do, I like it a lot. I think I can give it a taco of excellence. Okay. Oh, a seafood taco of excellence. Okay, so now it's our turn to try some of the food. Yeah. Filet al ajillo and alambre de camarones. Guys, take a look at the size of these tortillas. These are handmade, warm tortillas. They are huge. Oh. And I'm gonna do a tiny taco technique <laughs> for this. Yeah, because it is huge. No, the, okay. the tiny taco technique is trendy on the channel <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. First thing, the garlic kicks in. It's a strong garlic flavor. Mm. You will find this combination in many Mexican seafood dishes, right? Like you will find the garlic, you will find the chili or the chili powder, you will find the lime, you will find this like... Uh, it's not the same combination but it is used many times in Mexican seafood. Garlic and chili. And I think it's a terrific combination. With the lime, it gets along very well. And well, if you can say something about seafood, and especially about Mexican seafood, it uh, is that it is vibrant. It is all about the smells, the taste, the colors. It is very, very vibrant, very, very fresh. And in this place, I think they have done a great job. The fish is super tender. It could be better, yeah, for sure. What I really liked is this tortilla. <laughs> sweet and they are warm and they have a lot of texture a lot of chew to them they are great tortillas and i also really like the salsa that we have over there it's good but not that much but if you mix everything together and mm. put it in a taco yeah it's very good the more you start to put into the taco the less you are going to distinguish flavors one from exactly. another so you gotta be careful there but so now out, we're gonna out try of, out of five the fish uh, I um, think it's a four out of five. It's I'll give five. it a three. Mm, three in taco form with all everything else. Uh, four. Mm. <laughs> so I was. What is our next spot? We're going to Taqueria del Barrio. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, 
guys, so uh, Horacio and I were going to start uh, reviewing the food of this place. So what, what do you got over there? I've got a pescado enchilado, which is fish with chili. Uh, it has a mixture of chilies, it has guajillo. Here I have a fish taco that is uh, seasoned with the pastor season. Remember we have shown you pastor tacos a lot of times in the channel? Well, this is fish seasoned with the with the same seasoning of pastor. Like First cheese. time with pastor fish. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. So the first thing I notice when biting this taco is that it still has that magic from pastor tacos. Like the mixture between the onion, the cilantro, the pineapple and the salsa. But then those flavors change and start giving more uh, more power to the fish. And the fish just becomes like a... It becomes like a mass in your mouth. I mean, with pastor tacos that are from pork, you just bite into it, you chew a few times and then you are ready to swallow it. But with these ones, the fish becomes like a sort of a mess and you and in that way you are able to stay to taste the flavor for a little bit longer. I think it's good. So the salsa as well was delicious. I love habanero, I love mango. So that combination is really good. With the pineapple from the Yeah well the pineapple makes it always better with pastor. I really like it so cheers guys. Mine uh, it's really good. It, actually it was kind of surprising for me because the fish has a very soft flavor you can barely taste the fish uh, at the beginning uh, until the end you start to taste the fish and that's because of the salsa the salsa that has chile morita and chile guajillo it's really good but it has a lot of flavor because the chilies are burnt and you can taste the, the burnt chilies and it's pretty tasty I like it a lot um, but sincerely I think the salsa is a little bit too strong for the fish. You can barely taste the fish until the end. So it is a great taco. I like the flavor of the salsa, but I think it's a little too powerful for for the fish. But it's a good taco. So okay. from one to five, I would give it a 3.5 out of five. Okay, I will give it a 4.5 out of five. This is a squid taco because I love squid. It's one of my favorite seafood. They prepare it with garlic. The squid is one of my favorite tacos, but uh, I'm giving it to my brother, so. <laughs> uh, so cute. Nice big brother. I have it like this. This is a tuna, tuna steak taco. This is uh, made in, into carnitas. Okay, let me take a look at it. This is, this is uh, the way it's prepared. It's, uh, it's kind of like a tuna steak but it's chopped up in like small squares so that gives it like the perfect browning like all around and it's also like tender in the middle it's, it's kind of like tuna it's tender in the middle uh, enough tucking okay. put some, some salsa on it red salsa usually goes into carnitas so this is this is a uh, yeah this is pretty good it's kind of just like tuna steak the the tuna steak you would have in a, another restaurant but yeah made a taco cheers, cheers. <laughs> This is really good. It's one of my favorite tacos because mm, <laughs> it's got that, that texture from the carnitas kind of that, that's where the name comes from. But it's also very it's very soft, and, but it's also got the the, uh, the sea flavor. I guess you could call like uh, uh, it's fishy? it's a fish, fishy yeah fishy or sea flavor. My taco was extremely delicious. Come on, it was. Um, one of the best seafood tacos I've ever had. I think part of it is because I'm a huge fan of squid. And the thing about that taco is that the texture of the squid is so chewy and so flavorful. You just like have to chew through it and enjoy everything about the taco. It was very nice. I would like to have another one. So, <laughs> okay. Taco of Excellence, five out of five. You have yeah. seen Taco of Excellence? Yeah, also Taco of Excellence. This is like a really good combination. Tuna tacos. Uh, the onion comes through. It really, it, it really is a good mixture. Like the lime, everything. 
five out of five. That could fix it. And the last one, so... What did uh, you get over here? I've been cheating. I've been cheating. I have been <laughs> tasting it a little bit. Uh, mine is it's, uh, fish and enchilado, which means like you uh, cover up with chili. Over <laughs> it. Fantastic. Really good. It's a little bit spice. Um, I think it's it's really it's really hot enchilado. Yeah, uh, it's super soft, but tender, juicy. Lots of flavors there. I uh, really enjoy this this fish enchilado taco. So five out of five, guys. We have arrived to our third and last stop of the night. As you can see, it's already night time and, uh, well, everything has uh, gone so well. So, this is called Los Sinaloenses. Uh, we are like in, uh, uh, we are in Roma, still in Roma, still in Condesa, Roma? Condesa zone. And as uh, Agustin was saying uh, earlier, these tacos are more of the Pacific uh, side of Mexico. So, uh, but, but I believe we are coming here for the aguachile, right? Aguachile, which is one of my so, favorite dishes. Aguachile, agua means uh, water. water and chile means chile. <laughs> so we are having a wa watery... Rocket a science. A, a chili water. Chili water, that's the, yeah, the translation. Chili yeah. water. It is very interesting. Comilos. Part of our food has arrived. This is a shrimp aguachile. And aguachile means water and chili, literally. So they take uh, some, a lot of lime juice, uh, a lot of spices. Sometimes they just do it with lime and uh, slices of pepper, right? But here they make like a sauce with, look at that. And you also have to take a scoop of this aguachile sauce. You put it on top, and before it all drops down, <laughs> the most important flavor of this dish is the shrimp. You can taste such a deep sea flavor and the texture of the shrimp. When it's raw, it's kind of crunchy, a little bit chewy, and it has so much flavor. And it absorbs some of the juices of the aguachile, the sauce, and it explodes when you bite it. It's so flavorful. Tell me about the chile. Yeah, we ordered like this order, <laughs> other uh, chilies. Yeah, they're called uh, chile rellenos, and they're basically like they're wrapped around the bacon, and you can see in the middle they got like cream oh cheese, God. cream cheese, and. Um, it's shrimp. And then they look like they are toreados, right? Yeah, they look like uh, they, they've been... I don't know if they're fried or they're passed on the grill. I think the they pass it on the grill with a little bit of oil. So they look... Uh, that's what they call toreados. A little bit. <laughs> this is not spicy at all and it balances out with the, with the cream cheese and the, and the shrimp. Really good. And um, they... That kind of salsa is the same one from the aguachile, right? Yeah, it's the same one. It's like with salsa maggi sí. and Marlos. with chilies. Okay. Ah, the tostada is like already breaking apart because they they brought the, the tostada a while ago. Ah, so okay. this is a scallop tostada. Uh, it's a type of mollusk. So it has onions and it has cucumber also. So I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. <laughs> If you if you come here to Mexico and it's a really hot day, this is a perfect meal so you can that you can have to refresh yourself with some beers and some friends. It's, it's amazing. We have the last dish we order. It's a, a fish fillet, but it's sarandeado. Sarandeado means that it's on the it's not grilled, but it's kind of like charcoal. But it comes like in a metal cage and they just put it like they, they flip it around side and the other is kinda like flipping it around. It's really good.
really good. The onion give it like an extra twist, no? Yeah. It, it makes something happen in your mouth because it, it gets crunchy, but it's also soft. So I think it's a really good. Yeah, it gives a new dimension to the place. We, we had an amazing time. You yeah, are always, we are you. welcome to come back anytime you want to. Yes, my brother. Thank you. If you want to have me as the fifth Mexican guy. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> you will be voting for me for the fifth Mexican guy. If you guy. subscribe, you're voting. And yeah, <laughs> just, just hit the button here down below. I don't know where it is, but you will be, vo will be voting for me if you hit the subscribe button. Maybe I'll come back in so, another episode. As you know, we have we have huge plans for uh, 2019. The best way to support the channel is by uh, joining our Patreon. We have different tiers there. Please check it out. Link in the description. And so, thanks to Nate. Thanks to Duncan. They are uh, big supporters to the channel. Thanks to Ninja Patreon. Thanks to all you, you guys. Uh, please uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit yeah. the little bell. If you want to see more content, if you want to really support us, go to Patreon. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's it. That's thanks it. a lot thanks for coming lot. with us. Subscribe, Patreon. Leave our comments. Mexican seafood. Yeah, Mexican seafood. Mexican seafood. Mexico city seafood. Okay. Okay. What is the secret to making tan ricas las tortillas? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Roberto Rodríguez Flores. Muy bien. Aquí me llevo a Luis Pablo, la quería del barrio. Sí, del barrio. Excelente deseo. Pásale, pásale. Podemos a... <risa>